Good morning, good evening, good night from wherever you are watching us. You are most welcome to this new tutorial where we are going to learn how to edit and size your Shopify banner. You notice that when you come to your online store on Shopify and then you click on customize your theme, that is done, which is actually the current theme on my plan, which also may be the same for your plan. You may notice that the image you have here is of a certain dimension and but it doesn't fit what you need. So you actually need to put your own image here, but you have no idea maybe what will fit. So to get the fittings, I would advise you to go to tinyimg.com, that is tiny-img.com, and I'll be leaving the link in the description of this video where you are able to get recommended settings for various images used on Shopify. So you notice here we have the image type, the width and the height, and then the, we have the image type and then the width and the height again here. So if now I scroll down, you notice here we have, for instance, the Shopify logo. This is the recommended size, but we need the banner. So in this case, you look at this banner here, image with text overlay, banner images. The setting we want is 1800 by 1000. So if now I come back to my Shopify, that is what I want to replace this image with. So I'll need an image that has the settings of 1800 here by 1000. So how do I get that? You can have the image that you want. Maybe it's an image that you have taken, but you can also use images that are non-copyrighted, for instance, from unsplash.com. And I'll be leaving that link again in the description of this video. And then once you get to Unsplash, maybe you look for an image that you feel fits what you need. Maybe let's say my website is about meditation classes and meditation training or counseling. So maybe I feel a sunset might work so well. So I'll type on the word there, sunset, and click on search. And then I'll get these images. So let me select this image and download it. So I'll click on that. And then I'll download it at the top here. So if I click on the drop down arrow, you notice I can see the dimensions of my image. We have the small, that is 640 by 426. We have the medium, that is 1920 by 1280. We have the large that goes for 2400 by 1600. But you notice from what we have looked at, we need an image that is 18 by 1000, which is none of this one. So I can download any image and now I have my image saved there. But the dimensions, if I come to my store and I upload it, it may not fit as well as this one for the banner that I want. So to change that, I'll go to Canva, that is canva.com. And then on the top right corner, I'll click on create a design. And then down here for the custom size, I'll click on that custom size. Then manually, I'll now put the width and the height that is 1800 by 1000. And then I'll click on create new design. So you notice now we have an empty template here. I'll come to my uploads and then I'll click on upload files. And then I'll go to my downloads and select the image that I have just downloaded and click on open. And my image gets uploaded. So I just click on it once. And so you notice now it's added to my plain canvas. Now, because the canvas is in the dimension that I want the image to be, I can now drag that image to fit the canvas the way I want it to fit there. I just drag that this way. Then I can possibly drag it upwards slightly. So we have that image looking that way. Then I can click now. Now that our image fits well, I'll click on share. And then down here, I'll click on download. And the format here, I'll click as PNG. I can also download it in either, any other format, but for this use, I want to download it as PNG. And then I click on download. So I'll call it T3, which is actually 1.1 MB. If I look at the specs here, it's 1.10 MBs, which is quite big for my use on Shopify. Why don't I want to use a big image here? This is simply because if I use a big image, it takes a lot of time to load and therefore I might actually lose some clients who do not have the time to wait for big images to load. So now that I have my image in my downloads 
and the image I want to use here, T3, is 1.1 MBs, as you may notice here, 1.1 MBs. I want now to reduce that so that I can utilize it as my banner. To do that, you simply come to tinypng.com here, and this site allows you to actually compress your files without losing the quality. So you don't actually interfere with pixels, you only interfere with the size. So to do that, you simply come to your file, the one you want to upload, then you drag, you drop it, and then you give it time. You now notice it is processing. T3, the, the file we have saved, is one point around two MBs, and now it has been compressed and saved, and now the file is actually, it's actually 466 KBs, less than an MB, and that is a reduction by negative 60%, as you can see here. Now, that image I can click on download all, and then you notice it's named as Tinified, let me call it T4, then I click on save, now if I come to my zip folder here, T4, I can extract, and once I extract, here is my file, you notice now we have our T3 image there, which is now 455 KBs, I can now go back to my Shopify store, and now I can click on my banner there, then I want now to edit my image banner, I click on select image, then I can add image, then add my T3 image there, click on open, and my image has been uploaded there, then I click on done, and our image has been added. So you notice now, the image we downloaded has actually fitted perfectly on, has actually fitted perfectly as the banner, and now I can go ahead and edit these other details, maybe the product name here, and I can go ahead and just put the details for my website. For my website, maybe Joshnet Meditation. And you notice now my banner fits so well. And that is how you simply resize and edit your Shopify banner. You notice here our view is currently on, uh, on PC, but even if you were to view that on mobile, you would notice that it fits so well, it gets compressed so well to fit a mobile view. So another thing that you can use to do the same is Photoshop. So you simply create a new project in your Photoshop and give it the dimensions 1800 by 1000, and then you drag your photo here, and then you resize it to meet the canvas size that you have created, and then you save your photo, and then you upload it, the same way we have uploaded our image here. So I hope this has been helpful. Kindly like our video, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel.